uh, depending on who is piloting this character and, you know, the situations that you're in, sometimes one touch is just equal to death. Now, going to Smashville starting out, I think this is a great stage for Pattaya here. You got, like, the FD transformation with that platform in the center. We know how scary Kazuga is on these platforms, but it so, seems so far beast just another day in the office using that Squirtle. Yeah, it's definitely a choice for sure. I think starting Squirtle here obviously is, you know, the, the safe choice. Squirtle's very small, is going to be able to get in space very quickly. He's going to be able to overwhelm uh, Pattaya here to start. Already has Ray Drive on deck, though. And, you know, B's really not at a percent where he has to worry about that. Like, you know, now switching out to the Ivysaur is now a time where you have to bring in your closers, try to keep Kazuya from doing silly things. Yeah, 152 already on Pattaya here. And also has lost the Rage Drive and will be losing the stock right after. Kind of unfortunate, right? I mean, we know that Pattaya has these crazy combos. We were watching them play a little bit earlier. But, I mean, Beast is literally just saying no at this point. Now, Beast does live <laughs> with a Kazuya player uh, in abs, so it doesn't surprise me that it's going this way so far, but I know Pattaya can definitely do this. And you saw right there because Gordel uh, shifts his uh, hurt box so much by doing down or forward tilt, uh, that electric wind god fist did not connect. So, again, the, the thing that makes the engine go uh, for Pattaya just has not been hitting. You see him going for the uh, the crouching uh, punch right there, the one that's you know sets you up in a knockdown. Ooh, Ooh there you okay. go. Yeah, gonna get the electric wind. God Fist and the up smash uh, to uh, net that KO. So, Bataya getting on the board here. We'll see what uh, Beast's answer is going to be. I actually really like that coming out from Bataya, right? Like, a lot of the times players are expecting Kazuya's to kind of go up to that platform and get the follow up. And it was just simply Pattaya reacting to the fact that Beast air dodged down. Really good stuff coming out from Pattaya, but now you're kind of dealing with this stock potential loss here. The F smash will do it. Beast is going to be a whole stock up here. Pattaya needs an answer but I don't know, I just feel like Beast is cooking just a little bit faster. Yeah, you saw a game of inches right there. Uh, Pattaya uh, just a little bit away from connecting that side B and Beast able to answer with the jab block KO. And now continuing on here in this, on this last stock, it's been pretty much the Squirtle show so far. Pattaya has not been able to generate any sort of offense just because Squirtle is so small and you know, able to get in so quickly. Yeah, finisher out here with Ivysaur as well at this point. Look for the forward air, but here comes Pattaya. I feel like Pattaya is hesitating a little bit, just not really kind of like going in with the full-fledged offense, but looking for the extensions here. Here comes the closer, but oh god, this is the dashes, Kyle. <laughs> it's so scary. Gonna be able to recover, though. Yeah, Kazuya driving the Bowser invisible car of uh, Smash Pass <laughs> uh, is truly a terrifying sight, but again, Beast is kind of playing a numbers game right now. He's up big percentage, so this barring natural disaster, I, I don't see this is getting too scary for him here. Ew. I don't know. I just that lasted that last whole like 30 seconds was like gross, right? Like Pataya was kind of just like, all right, I'm gonna wait for you to approach me. And Beast was like, what if I just kept F tilting? What can you do? <laughs> Realistically, I don't know. It just felt like a little bit stuttery out of the corner, and then Joel was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the fly. Now, I did do some research on Beast using up B randomly. Okay, I have to tell you, it is a 63% fail rate. And I did it in like, I, I think like 10 recorded sets. So all I'm saying, I hate that option coming out from him, but it is gonna win the it is gonna win the set. I'm surprised we're going here. <laughs> Let's see, base 70 power, 100% accurate, uh, two turn move. <laughs> You know, what else are the downsides uh, to that? But hey, listen, I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon. You've seen that move fail Beast out of trouble multiple times. And again, it's going to be a lot of the same here. You see Pattaya force retreat high on a platform there. You can probably understand why he would pick the stage as a counter pick because of that, uh, you know, early sequence off the ledge right there. But just like that, going to work on that uh, left platform, how Beast able to escape with his life still intact. All right, there's the stun. Can't get much off of it oh! except for a little combo on the platform. Ooh! Oh, going for the Flare Blitz midair. Honestly, good on Pattaya for reacting, though. This is Rage Drive, Kazuya, but that's a flaming lizard. Charging right out of you. Honestly, Pattaya doing much better this game. I think what I like about Pattaya is that he doesn't telepath what exactly he's going for every single time, right? I, I think it's kind of like a silent killer. Yeah, he's doing a good job mixing up his approaches. The downside is uh, he's just not getting these big extensions right. that you're looking for. You know, like, you obviously expect... Oh, my God! Expect what? You, I mean, you have to obviously respect Kazuya's buttons, but, uh, you know, Pattaya is just not getting the conversions he's needing. Joelle Meanwhile, stopped. Beast getting all the conversions he needs, gets that 
back throw into a nair off the platform into a drop off dare for the stock. That was just gross. Yeah, that one's got to hurt one, but I'm very happy Pattaya did not play into Beast games. I feel like I, I've seen Beast play two people tonight, and uh, from watching the set with CTH earlier, sometimes he likes to play with his food, and that was like a little bit of the dash dancing on the platform to the left. You, you can't do that when we get this far into bracket. Pattaya, though, needs to recover, going to get hit by the Vine Whip. Potentially Beast looking at a JD3, be able to grab ledge, but still Beast gonna be able to find the weak kick back here, potentially looking for the close, but right now Pattaya just needs to fight his way out of the corner. There it is. All right, there'll be no JD. But again, tries to get a conversion going there, but the fly bailing Beast out of uh, trouble right there. And now, right drive on deck. You know, if you're Pattaya, you kind of have to get to the clip here to see what can end up happening for you. To see him going for the, the dash in, but the drop zone fair will do it. And in a 2-0 clip, uh, Beast will move on. So, again, avoiding the, the upset chart 